Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that Mrs. Samantha is a teacher. She recently gave a test and decided to arrange the scores of 25 students in a stem and leaf plot so that she would see how they are distributed. The scores are 73, 91, 76, 56, 71, 68, 58, 69, 64, 57, 68, 75, 66, 82, 77, 87, 77, 86, 57, 74, 81, 93, 85, 97 and 92. Make a stem and leaf plot and answer the following questions. And the first question is, which scores were earned by more than one student? Then the second question, how many students got at least 85 marks? Third one is, how many students got less than 57 marks? And the fourth part is, what conclusion you draw about the shape and spread of the distribution. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result. And that is the stem and leaf plot. Now the stem and leaf plot is constructed by separating the digits of each member into two groups One as a stem and other as a leaf. And after separating the data, the left most digit is termed as a stem. And the rightmost digit is termed as a leaf. Now consider 45 as one of the numbers which we have to arrange in a stem and leaf plot. So for this number, Four is the stem and five is the leaf. That is, the digit at the tens place is termed as stem and the digit at units place is termed as a leaf. And it is written as stem. Then we put a line and then we write the leaf that is 45 will be written as now here the stem is 4 so we will write 4 then we will put a vertical line and then we will write the leaf that is 5 and it means this is the number 45 And secondly, the stem and leaf plot describes the spread and shape of the distribution and if the stem and leaf plot
is turned vertically when it gives the shape of histogram which is the histogram of the distribution and we can tell whether the distribution is symmetrical or skewed. So this result will work out as a key idea for solving out the given question. And now we will start with the solution. Now first of all we will form the stem and leaf plot. So let us arrange the given data from the highest to the lowest value. So we have arranged the given data from the highest to the lowest value. Now according to the key idea, we will form the stem and leaf plot and here we will split each number in two parts that is stem and leaf. So for the stem and leaf plot, we will separate the numbers in two parts that is the stem and leaf and here the stem will be the digit at 10th place and the leaf will be the digit at the unit's place. Now the first number here is 97. Now in 97, 9 which is the digit at 10th place is the stem and 7 which is the digit at units place is the leaf and it is written as 9 then we put a vertical line and then 7. Now in the given data, the 10 digits vary from 5 to 9. So here we will write stem vertically from lowest to the highest, that is from 5 to 9. Then after 5, we have the next digit which is at the 10th place that is 6 then we have 7, 8 and 9. So we have written the stem vertically from the lowest to the highest value and then the corresponding leaf is written horizontally from left to right from the lowest to the highest digit. Now from the data we can see that the corresponding leaf with the stem 5 is 6, 7, 7 and 8. So here we will write the corresponding leaves with the stem 5 horizontally from left to right from the lowest to the highest. So here first of all we will write 6 then 7 then again 7 and then 8. Now the corresponding leaves with this term 6 are 4, 6, 8, 8 and 9. So again we will write the corresponding leaves with this term 6 as 4, 6, 8, 8, and 9. Similarly, we will write the corresponding leaves with this term 7. So we have written the corresponding leaves with this term 7. Similarly, we will write the corresponding leaves with this term 8 and the corresponding leaves with this term 9. 
So we have written the corresponding leaves with the stem 8 and with the stem 9. So this is the required stem and leaf plot. Now in the first part of the question it is asked that which scores were earned by more than one student. Now in the stem and leaf plot you can see that corresponding to the stem 7 the leaf 7 is repeated twice Corresponding to the stem 6, the leaf 8 is repeated twice and for the stem 5, the leaf 7 is repeated twice. So as for the stem 7, the leaf 7 is repeated twice, it means Two students scored 77 marks and for the stem 6, leaf 8 is repeated twice. So this means two students scored 68 marks and for the stem 5 leaf 7 is repeated twice so this means two students scored 57 marks so the scores which were earned by more than one student are 77, 68 and 57. Find the second part we have to find how many students got at least 85 marks now this means we have to find the number of students who got 85 marks or more than that. Now from the plot we can see that corresponding to the stem 8 we have the leaves 5, 6 and 7 which means 85, 86 and 87 are the scores greater than or equal to 85. Now corresponding to the stem 9, we have the leaves 1, 2, 3 and 7, which means all these marks are greater than 85, that is 91, 92, 93 and 97, which are greater than 85. So the scores which are greater than 85 are 85, 86, 87, 91, 92, 93 and 97. Therefore, the number of students who got at least 85 marks are 7. So these are the 7 students who scored 85, 86, 87, 91, 92, 93 and 97 marks. Now in the third part we have to find that how many students got less than 57 marks. Now 
from the plot you can see that corresponding to the stem 5 the leaf 6 is smaller than 7 so as corresponding to the stem 5 the leaf 6 is smaller than the leaf 7 therefore only one student got less than 57 marks now in the next part that is the fourth part it is asked that what conclusion you draw about the shape and spread of the distribution now from the key idea we know that the stem and leaf plot describes the spread and shape of distribution and if the stem and leaf plot is turned vertically then it gives the shape of the histogram of the distribution so now for the shape and spread of the distribution, we turn this plot vertically and we get the shape of the histogram which is symmetrical and spread of distribution is wider. So for the fourth part, we get the shape of a histogram which is symmetrical and spread of the distribution is wider. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for the session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.